it comes. Oh, my goodness. Hello, and we're live from Robert's Potato Eating Contest in Alabama. We're EXSCN, and we're going to be covering the Browns training camp first. Um, I am Neil Patterson, and this is my co-host, Charlie Cook. And what do you think about the Browns? Um, their wide receivers are great this year. Yes, Jura they are. Vicious, Edwards. They picked up Stallworth. Yep, Stallworth, Stallworth from the Patriots. They're going to be awesome. They also have Jamal, which is... Yes, he's a great He's a back. powerhouse. And they got Derek and Quinn. Yeah, they're pretty much set for this year. Yeah. They also have a pretty tough schedule. Yeah, they, they do. Steelers twice, they're going to be good this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they play the Patriots. The Patriots. I don't know about the Patriots because the Patriots shouldn't even be in the NFL. The They're Eagles. Stupid. The Giants. Yes. Packers. Well, we're going to go live to the Browns training camp with Ray Roberts. <laughs> He's a good guy. <laughs> Ray Roberts, and um, later on we'll have live coverage of the X Games that yes. just started. Um, that should be a good one. Mountain biking. So. Uh, we're going to go to Ray. Neil, I'm here in Browns training camp in Berea, Ohio, where this this season's huge story will be the quarterback controversy. Will it be the injured Derek Anderson or the young Brady Quinn? I talked to Anderson this morning and quote, I'm, I'm 80% now, but I'll try to, I'm going to hope to be 100% by, the, by week one of the season. With Derek Anderson out for a little, for a 10 minute break, Brady Quinn got a chance to take to prove to the coaches that he is ready for the NFL. I talked to Romeo Cornell earlier, and he said Quinn was progressing very well and should be ready for Week One if needed. Another Brown star this year is Braylon Edwards. He came off a Pro Bowl season last year and is hoping to do even better and make lead his team to a Super Bowl. Edwards has done very well so far in this camp. As you, as you see there, him making a I catch. I have a brief interview with Brady Quinn after he's done taking a shower and all of his things. Here he is now. Um, Hello, Braylon. Bra <laughs> it's alright, people get us drinking stuff all the time. <laughs> okay. Well, you're a lot taller than me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, Brady, after two seasons uh, in this Browns organization, have you be become friends with everybody? Oh, uh, yes. They've all taken me very well. They haven't thought of me as a rookie, really. They just respect me, and I respect them, and it's all good. Okay, if, if Derek Anderson is injured, will you be ready for this year? I believe so. I mean, my experience in football and at Notre Dame, it it's prepared me for these kind of moments, but we're hoping that Anderson doesn't get hurt this year. Okay, so how far do you think the Browns can go this year? All the way. Okay, I'm Ray Roberts, EF. EXSCN. Thank you, Ray, for that awesome uh, report on the Browns training camp. Um, we're back here, and we are going straight to the X Games after. What do you think about Brett Favre's situation? Um, I think he should stay retired. Yeah. After having that many great seasons, it'll ruin his name if he just goes to their team. Yeah, he's had so much legacy on his name. Just going back to ruin it all. Yeah. Stay retired, Brett. All right, so if you go on our website, exscn.com, you can vote whether you think he should stay retired or come back to football. Um, now we're going live to the X Games for mountain bike um, trick game with Brian McLeod. Brian McLeod. Here he is. Thank you, Neil. I'm here at X Games 8. Where last year Robert McDowell finished fifth in the mountain bike tricking, and two years ago finished eighth. But this year he will attempt to win it all and bring home the glory. Up next, Robert McDowell. Here's McDowell going his third attempt here. His first two attempts were failures, and here he goes for his for the win. Some spinning of some sort. And there he goes. And what a jump by McDowell! 
That'll surely win him the event there, and he will bring home his first X Games gold medal. In a matter of seconds, I will be hold holding an interview with Robert McDowell, the new gold medal winner. Here he comes now. Hello. Congratulations, Robert, on winning your first gold medal. Thank you very much. How do you feel winning that medal for the first time? Oh, it, it feels great um, knowing that I am the best in the X Games for mountain tricking. It's great feeling. Um, will you come back next year for this event? Oh, definitely. I'll be here for many years to come. Okay, thank you. I'm Brian McLeod, EXSCN. Thank you, Brian. That was a great X Games clip of mountain bike. If you want to see more, tune in to EXSCN later this week to watch more motocross races, car races, all for X Games. But for EXSCN right now, I'm Neil Patterson. And I'm Troy Cook. Enjoy the Robert's Chip Eating Contest in Alabama. Good night. See ya.